And it will be the top line for Lightning of Ross Venus, Dylan Lawrence and Rory Herman. The time for talking's over. Playoff hockey's back in Milton Keynes. Sunday night, you know what that means. Let's play hockey. Oh, still start there. Face-off infraction on the opening draw. That's not great. And now we've got the face-off and a face-off win there for Gail Lebuele. And Swild Cats will begin with the puck in possession. Took a couple of deflections there, so we know icing and Cats will have that down in the corner, but Lightning will win it back with Venus. Venus with a backhand pass. Intensive to the Lawrence. Doesn't get out the zone, but some, uh, some bullets drops the stick, so Venus will bring it forward now for the Lightning. Lewis Chrissy though, the pass for Lawrence, but he just got eased off the puck there, and Renny Ma will be happy just to freeze that there for a face-off. The Cats eventually get it clear. It was a little bit scrappy. A lot of players are over that side, and Ross Venus does very well. Tries to shake off the attention of Bebris, but good strength from the Latvian, but he doesn't clear the zone, and there's an opportunity here for Venus. Looks for the pass through to Herman, and a save there by Renny Ma. Shot hits the body, doesn't get through. And a good block there from Bullis, but Griffin does well to keep it in the zone. Falls through to the Lightning, shot through. And eventually it's held on at the second attempt by Herman, and the Swindon players didn't take too kindly to Herman, looking to try and follow in on that rebound. Few pushes and shoves, but don't think anything will come from that. Bullis having a few words with the Lightning forwards. Great play by James Griffin to keep the puck in the zone. Thought the opportunity had gone, but it was very good play there. And we'll see on this shot here. Ma just juggled the rebound, but covered up on it. And yeah, both Bebris and Blues were not happy with Rory Herman. Face-off win there for the Wildcats. Billing in that face-off circle. Hamill does very well to get the puck clear. And it's Harry Gulliver. Still under a lot of pressure for Wildcats are trying to limit the space for Lightning on this wide ice pad. Great pass there, Madisinski got a bit of space. Shot, almost trickles under the body of Jordan Headley. The shot came in and Jordan Headley just lost sight of it for a moment, but it didn't cross the line. Loose turnover and it just evaded it. We'll see if we're gonna get a replay behind the net. Thing that came off of a combination of Headley and the post. We'll look at the above cam side. Came off of the pad of Headley and it just seemed to hang in the crease for what seemed like an eternity. And Jones wins that draw. And the Cats will look to set another attacking play up here. Lightning playing the body to try and get the puck back. Griffin should be able to get the puck cleared there. Godfrey was thinking about going for it, but decided to get back in position. And Lightning do clear the zone, and I think this may get washed out. This, is, this one is washed out, and Carter Hamill got to that there. And there's a penalty coming up for the Lightning. Lightning power play will be coming out, unless they score for this. Griffin with a wind-up shot, just goes wide. Christie, plus unable to keep it on the blue line, so it goes offside. And we're going to have a penalty call here, so we're going to see the Lightning's power play for the first time tonight. Great work from Carter Hamill to draw that. And it'll be Sam Godfrey that will sit for two or less. Gulliver. Buck took a couple of deflections and Cats are able to clear. Eddie will come out and play this one. 23 seconds left of the power play. Martelli. Finds Max Stewart. Stewart with a pass. Finds its way to Hamill. Hamill shot. He found it in the bit and Gulliver nearly was there at a back stick to fire it in. Almost a very fortunate bounce there for the Lightning. And Brown will have to be careful as the uh, Cats will come back to full strength. Brown into the zone. Nothing much going for him. And he finds Martelli. Martelli winds up shot. Hits the heel with Carter Hamill and deflects wide. Face off circle now. And a good win for the Wildcats against McEwen. I think that was Billing again on that face off win. Malasinski. Pass intended for Billing, just evaded his skate. 
but they still have the puck, the Wildcats still have possession. Good battling here with Manasinski and now Lightning able not to get a touch of the puck and that's padded away by Jordan Headley. And Ruckis will emerge with the puck here. He's got a one-on-one. -on -one. Still Ruckis. Ruckis gets the shot for and saved and kicked away by Rennie Ma. And that should be all that it has for the uh, period as another Lightning player loses his helmet. And that's just fired down by the Wildcats. And that will bring an end to the first period. No goals in it, but plenty of action, plenty of talking points. There were 13 shots on Rennie Mar and there were eight shots on Jordan Headley. So face-off win for Dylan Lawrence gets this second period underway. Ross Green will bring this one forward. That's fired along the boards. Bevis will look to a regular season's top power play line. Though 30% on the power play were the Wildcats. Tower now looks to generate something here for the Wildcats on this player advantage. Malasinski, good passing round, and that shot just goes wide. Malasinski will keep this one in the zone, though. Jones. Good passing and movement here from, from the Wildcats, and that's gone in. They made the player advantage count. Looked like it took a redirect. The initial shot came in from Malasinski. I think it was Tower, but just with the redirect. Yep, redirect off of Colby Tower's stick. And the Lightning are still not happy with the penalty called on Rory Herman. Looks to just get that one clear, but Cowdy will get to that one first. Griffin should beat his man and does so. And Grinnell Park now will come forward. We've got a two on two for the moment. Grinnell Park force wide by good defensive work by Smith. McEwen. McEwen looks to fire this one in. Too many bodies in the way, but it falls back to Lewis Christie. Christie shoots through. And Cammy Hamill in front of that, making a nuisance of himself. But Ma is happy to hold on to that. And uh, Cammy Hamill and Gail Labrelle having. Exchanging some words there. Cowdy up against Lawrence. That's been a great battle in the uh, face-off circle. And a face-off win for Lawrence. Griffin put under pressure and Herman's able to clear. Febris does very, very well. He just evades a big hit that was incoming from Venus. Pagosti just happy to touch that one on and Herman will go up against Cowley. And it's Herman that emerges with the puck. Finds Lawrence. Lawrence looks to uh, play that one off the boards and uh, an interference call there uh, on Bebris against Rory Herman. Herman did very well there to draw that penalty out. And Carter Hammer will give chase. McEwen. Carter Hammer, they're uh, battling along the boards, but. Lebrelle comes forward. Great pass out wide, and Martelli again is the man in the way. And Carter Hamill's through. It's lifted the crowd a bit, but shot doesn't get through on there. Hamill back around. Dylan Lawrence now helping out. Lawrence shot in! What a shot! I don't know if I took a piece in him and it beat Rennie Marr over the glove hands. Dylan Lawrence, that quick release of his. Carter Hamill was in front of the net. I don't know if that took a deflection off of the body of Carter Hamill. The goal will stand though, and it's one all. And that's face off win there, but the pass from Nell finds no one, and that buzzer will go. And after an action-packed 20 minutes, there's still nothing separating either side. Waiting to make sure that all the players are in the correct position. And we're good to go in a face-off win for Lawrence. And we start this third period with Ross Green finds Martelli. Zone. 
Lightning decided to go a different way and looked to bypass Cowdy and Rory Herman takes a good hip check there from Plews. Malasinski controls the puck and nicks to skate this one in. Good pass out back. Shot finds its way through and it's billing. Lightning there just couldn't get control of the puck. And Wildcats take an early lead in this period. And the already quiet home crowd is going to be quietened even more. Just through a lot of traffic down low. Good one time, and I don't know if I took a deflection. We'll look at that. The above goal cam here. Pass from Malasinski. Looked like it might have been tipped in off of the stick of the Wildcats player that was crashing the net. We're battling with Lewis Christie. Cats look to clear, and it finds its way to Salisbury. Salisbury back to Liam Stewart. Nax will keep the puck alive. Salisbury and Lawrence on the blue line. Lawrence will have it. Finds Archie Salisbury. Salisbury fires that one in on net. Liam Stewart with an attempted wraparound. Fire down in front of to Venus. Venus shoots and misses the puck. And Cowdy clears. How close was that? Ross Venus there just needed to make any connection on the puck and I think the goal light would have been there and a big hit by Archie Salisbury on Edgar's Bebris. Rutkiss will get across to this one. Attempted stretch pass. And that was just a frustration, I think, from this game. There's a chance here. Jones is free out in front. Passes back and there's no one there. And that goes out of the zone, fortunately for the Lightning. Under a minute left of this Rory Herman two-minute penalty for goaltender interference. It's being sat by Cammy Hamill. Swindon come forward. Lucky grounds, and that's backhanded in by Sam Bullis. And that's 3-1, and that could well be the deciding goal. This lightning crowd is absolutely silent, and they've been, well, they have been most of the game, I have to say. Great finish there by Sam Bullis. The captain there coming up big. Lifts it over, get a bit of space, lifts it over the blocker of Jordan Headley, far down, and that's 3 1 to the Wildcats. And that's fired back in from the Wildcats, and we now have the final two minutes of this game. Martelli. Big hit by Ross Green. Martelli. Had no pass on, so he's just happy to fire that along the board. We'll look to see if uh, Jordan Headley will get pulled for the extra skater. And he has gone to the bench. It finds Gulliver. And that's in. That's one goal back. One-time shot from Harry Gulliver. Finds its way under Renny Marr. With 1.34 to go, it's 3-2. Good face-off win there, though, from Lubwele. That's what Wildcats want to do. They want to try and keep the puck and keep the pressure in the Lightning zone for as long as possible. Griffin. He'll be looking to try and get forward and go coast to coast. Griffin, he's having a fire along the boards. Headley not yet going to the bench, just waiting for the uh, Lightning to keep the possession in the zone. Martelli does well. Big board battle. Headley's watching what, what happens here, and Swindon emerge with the puck. Kept in there. Lawrence with the puck. Fires that one out, and it gets its way to Griffin. Griffin there rides the hit. And Headley is now out of the net, but Swindon turned the puck around. They'll look down to get the shot away. Rutkiss will... Keep the possession and he'll bring it back into the zone. He's on his own. He's had to fire it along the boards and now Bebris takes the hit into the boards from Griffin. 35 seconds remain. Big corner battle here. I think Swindon are just happy to try and keep the puck out. And that puck's not moved, but the referees are still saying it's a fair battle. Lightning emerge with it. It's uh, Ross Venus. Spins around his man and he was rugby tackled to the ground there. And that was just desperation. Stop, stop the Lightning player of any way, shape or form. So 16.7 se seconds, that's enough time for Lightning to try and win this face off and set up an attacking play. I think that was Ross Cowdy just trying to stop Ross Venus in any way, shape or form. So it'll be Dylan Lawrence and Glenn Billing in the face off circle. 
And the noise now is getting louder. Lightning win the face off. Venus shot blocked. Goes out of the zone. Lightning had to get back on side quickly. Martelli now will bring it in. Needs to control the puck. He shoots. Goes wide. And this will be all she wrote for the game. As Glenn Billing will see at the end of this. And the Wildcats just about hold on for the win.